we will engage in istighfar. We will, we will try and welcome this beautiful month by turning to Allah and by developing our character and conduct, by improving the relationship we have in our homes and houses. A lot of us have a lot of room for improvement with our relations with our own children, in our relations with our wives and our husbands perhaps. We have so much that needs to be done, but sometimes we are we couldn't be bothered. We are too busy doing some other things. Before you know it, life will be over. You know, nowadays, time is flying. That's just Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has prophesied this. Yataqarabu zaman. One of the prophecies of towards the end of the time. Time will begin to fly. It will be crumpled. Crumpled meaning a month will pass as though it was just a day. Honestly. You would recall the day you were married. The older ones from amongst us. And your child is already 20 years old. How did those 20 years go? I can't remember. I don't know. What were the highlights of your 20 years? You can finish them in two sentences and five. Where did the time go? So we are wasting time somehow. It's seeping. There is a leakage. You know, if you have a water meter and all your taps are closed in your house and the water meter still keeps on flowing, you know, it still keeps on rotating and moving. There is a leakage somewhere. You need an expert plumber to come in and identify where the leak is unless your meter is faulty. So what would happen? He would come in. If he cannot identify it, call in another expert. They will identify, you know what? This is your problem. This is where the water is leaking under the ground and you are paying a big bill for this water. The same is happening to our time. It's seeping, it's leaking. We're using it sometimes for that which is not constructive. It's destructive, it's a waste. It's a waste of time. So look at it and every minute should count. Ask yourself, how did I use it? This is why we say there is no room for laziness in Islam. No room for procrastination in Islam. Do not leave today's work for tomorrow just because you feel you will be able to do it tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow's work, if you can do it today, a productive Muslim will bring it in and do it now. So that tomorrow something else might come up and you can achieve. This is why we say, Let's start benefiting for the month of Ramadan from now. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and grant us goodness and ease.